Hi there, everybody. This is Eduardo bringing you my very first ever voiceover over one of the pieces of art that I uh, made up here. This is Tyrion Lannister, and this was my first ever human portrait that I was trying using pastels on pastel matte paper. Materials used were Sennelier, Pan Pastel, and New Pastel Sticks, as well as Carbothello and Faber Castle pit pastel pencils. Um, as you can see here, um, I was laying down some of the darker block colors first. Um, I was trying to do this using all blues, which I thankfully succeeded. The dark color you see on the left hand side is just a very, very dark blue, which the uh, Sennelier sticks came in and were a real godsend. As far as getting those deep, deep dark blues was still not using any of the black. You can see myself here. Um, I try to follow a tip that Jason Morgan laid out on one of his videos was to, whenever possible, draw from top left hand corner and work my way downward. And I do that because obviously I'm right handed. If you're left handed, you'd probably want to do the opposite. Um, some more detail here being done, uh, some initial block colors being laid down here around the beard um the eyes i tend to leave the actual eye usually towards the end that's just my personal preference um, i focused in here on the area around the beard again just laying down some block colors not focusing a great amount on detail at this point in time just because there was so much dark blue in the reference photograph that I used. Um, at this point in time, um, what I wanted to test out in this piece um, was I wanted to see how well it blended out. Uh, I've Most of my artwork up until this point had been actually done with, um, with an airbrush. And the airbrush has this wonderful ability to produce really, really beautiful transitions and fades, um, the, these, these colors that, that blend out beautifully. And I didn't know if the pastels were going to allow me to do that. And I have to admit, I was really, really wonderfully surprised. The, um, the color gradations that I was able to get using the pastels and um, my fingertip proved to be the um, the best tool uh, that I found to, to get the sort of look that I was going for. Um, it, it, it was really good. It was really surprising. I did not expect it to, to yield such smooth results. Um, I was also using um, a stump. I have a couple of different stumps in various sizes to, uh, to blend out the colors. And here you can see uh, I'm using pencils for the detail, adding some of the some of the finer hairs in Tyrion's beard that give it that sense of depth. And I think this is where, having had uh, produced a couple of different pet portraits previously in pastels, kind of helped me out because I was able to build just this really rich texture into his beard. At this point in time, I'm more than halfway done. I'm beginning to try to build out some of the detail in the hair. And here you can see me using the pastel, the pan pastel um, to add a, you know, add some layers of color. Wonderful thing about pan pastels that I discovered again in this particular um, exercise was they're almost semi-translucent for lack of a better term. Whereas you're, you're able to lay down some of that color that kind of gives it almost like a wash and it, it's, it's able to tint the detail underneath without completely eradicating it and, and destroying it. Um, what I started doing at this point in time is just rubbing my fingertip onto some of the Sennelier um, sticks that I was using that were of the color that I wanted to, to use to, to darken and add some of the depth. And um, use that in combination with some of the pencil. As you can see in most of this particular part of the video, 
the pencil is actually hovering over the the artwork I'm using my finger quite a bit once I discovered this neat little trick um, it's almost like finger painting and when you have super soft pastel sticks that that ended up being a very very useful technique again to achieve the, the the look that I'm going for I by no means am saying that this is the way to do everything this is just the way that I do it and hopefully you can find some tips and tricks that will help you achieve the look that you're going for um, there's the beautiful thing about artwork is that there is no one right way to produce art it's whatever works for you it's whatever makes you happy it's whatever brings you joy and whatever yields the results that you're looking for here it is the the final piece um again i didn't want to spend a ton of time on it because it was just practice but if you liked it please go ahead like it share it and by all means subscribe and like the sign says thanks for watching